ready? Hi everybody, Pastor Heather here and we're ready to spend some time with you in another DIY Sunday School Kids at Home adventure. Let's get started. Hi everybody, welcome to week one uh, for your DIY kit. And our Bible story for today is found in your Spark Bible on page 66 and it's about baby noses in the Nile River. And it's a good story. So there's a Bible verse that we're gonna learn with some yoga moves. Yeah, you heard me right, yoga moves. So let's learn the positions, right? So when you hear me say fear, you do something called ragdoll. You kind of bundle up and you fall over like this. Good, so fear. And who's the star of the story? Well, we might think Moses is, but it's really all about God. So he's star pose, God is star pose. And then it's hope. So. Can you do a tree pose and get some hope? Like looks like almost like you're praying. Balance, balance. All right, so let's learn that Bible memory verse. We're gonna do it through twice. Here we go. Now there was something besides fear, bundle up, bundle up. For God's people, there was hope, H-O-P-E. All right, let's do it one more time, just a little faster. Here we go. Now there was something besides fear, right? For God's people, besides them, there was hope. Good job. Okay, everyone, so your kit for week one has lots of stuff in it. There is a basket to make resembling kind of the basket that baby Moses was in. Uh, for our faith on the go, we have two little things that you can do. Each time you uh, do your faith on the go, you have a little stopwatch. And for this week, we want to see how quick you can fill a shopping bag, whether you go to the grocery store or from your pantry, and you can time yourself and then donate it to the food shelf. So it's a fun little thing for stop and go and uh, learning how to do faith on the go using your stopwatch. You also have, we just wanted you to have some fun family time together, buy a couple different ice creams and have a taste test together. Yum. And then this is your prayer book. And every day you can pray, or every week I should say, you can pray for different things. So on pages four and five of this week, you're gonna be praying for people who are hungry. And you can, there's some fun activities, there's some uh, little ideas that you can do for faith in there. And then remember to pray that there are people hungry in, in our world and need your prayers. So have fun.